want to go back to my natural hair color. I am super nervous about today. So I'm thinking this one. This is quite a nice brown. Are you ready, Mia? Yes. Come on. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like today is going to be a super scary video. Some of you probably think we've been over dramatic, but I am super nervous about today. So are you. I am absolutely petrified. So as you can see, we are both currently blonde. Well, Mia is a gorgeous strawberry blonde, which is her natural color. She does have a few highlights in there, yeah. which she had done in the salon earlier on this year, but it's mostly her natural hair color, yeah. which is like a reddish blonde. Some might call this another shade of ginger, but it's like this sort of ready, light, blondy sort of color. Really, yeah. really pretty. And then mine is a bleached blonde, which I've had done in the salon, so you can see my natural hair color here. And so many of you guys probably have only known me as blonde or seen me with like lots of blonde in my hair. When we first started down making videos, it's just me and Darren, and I actually used to have my natural hair color. I grew it all out and I really, really liked it. But then for literally since I've been about 12, I've always dyed my hair. I've been a redhead, blonde, back to brunette. I go through cycles of it all the time. And I'm now going back to square one again, where I want to go back to my natural hair color. Whereas me, on the other hand, she's a teenager and she really wants to experiment and she wants I to just know. I want to see what I'd look like. I want yeah. to know. <laughs> but we're both pretty nervous about today because, right, for two reasons. One, like, how if it doesn't actually suit us? I know it's my natural hair color, but I'm so used to seeing me as a blonde that I'm quite nervous so if I go back brunette will I find it a little bit I don't know like Strange. it washes me out or is it a bit boring I don't know me on the other hand we don't actually know how I have no clue is it gonna suit or not because she's obviously hasn't been born with this color no second reason why we're super nervous is because we don't know like right so dyeing your hair brown is not as simple as you would think it is I in fact would say that dyeing your hair blonde from brunette is easier because it can only really go one way so the lighter your hair color the brighter the blonde it's going to be so if you've got super like black hair it'll be quite yeah. brassy and you probably need to do it several times however when you dye your hair brown onto blonde whether it's natural or dye it can actually um, go like an ashy color even green it can fade after a couple of washes it's really in a way that is kind of high maintenance especially if it's yeah. going on to bleach blonde hair because Mia's got some red in her hair color as well that also Ooh. can pose a yeah. bit of a tricky problem so when you put the brown on top it might not necessarily come out the color you think it is so today is going to be yeah. a bit of an experiment we love experimenting don't we mia yes on the channel and mia loves experimenting on her um, channel which is mia's life you should go over there and see her do some more like, hacks and experiments but today we're going to be doing it together we're going to be teaming up mother and daughter oh, no. and we're going to be going from blonde to brunette so first of all we're going to go and get darren to take the thumbnail the before picture so one last look at this and then we're going to be heading to the shopping mall where there is a hair salon I speak a little bit quietly for this fam that Carmen's having a little nap so while she has a nap we haven't actually got our appointment until like another half an hour or so so we're just looking at different shades of brown eggs we haven't actually said what shade because obviously you can have super light mostly brown and then it can go to like full spectrum like super dark almost black so we're yeah. just having a look on Google at what shades we would like to go for I mean like I said though just because I like that colour it doesn't mean that will come out like that shade on my hair colour. Same with me. So what colour are you thinking we're going for? I want a brown with a bit of like orange undertones because I feel like if I go for cool undertones that will just look stupid on me. Yeah, because if so it has you want a bit warm. of like a, almost a little bit reddish in it, a warmer brown, I a feel like that brown. will suit me better. I feel like, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Plus me and Mia have warm skin tones. So if we went for like a cool shade of brown, like um, we get ones which are a bit plummy, burgundy, I think that may look a little bit like washed or sag. Because once yeah. I did actually dye my hair black, and that's the only colour that doesn't actually suit me, is jet black. Even though my hair is really dark brown, so maybe I've got red undertones of mine. So I would like to go for one which is the exact same colour as my hair. Obviously my roots are coming through. I'd like to grow my blonde out, so I think I should go for what my hair colour is naturally. And Mia is going to opt for a warm brown. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to keep scanning through here as well. Plus also, because Mia's got some highlights in her hair, and also mine isn't actually all well block colour of blonde, it could actually come out something yeah, like this. it could have it like multi-coloured. Yeah, like whereas what my shade. ideal colour, I would love it just to be one block shade of brown, but I feel like we're going to have naturally have all different colours in it. I really yeah. hope her hair doesn't turn green though, um, but we're going to do this <laughs> yeah. I've come out into the shop rather than in the actual hairdressing part because there's loads of hair dryers and it's really noisy, so I don't think you guys will be able to hear me. But mum said that she's going to go for an in-between these two colours, 
So I think this will really suit her and I think it's nice because I think it's got a little bit of orangey to it as well and I think this is like pretty much her natural hair colour. The lady has actually got to put some like toner on her hair to fill up the hair follicles and then put the dye on and then put another toner on so it's going to be quite complicated. However, I actually can't get my hair done at this hairdresser's because they only have permanent hair dye and I actually like, I don't think I could go permanently brown. That would just be too scary because I obviously want my whole head to go brown. So I'm only going to get semi-permanent, however they don't do it at this salon and they said that a toner wouldn't really work. So I'm going to be getting my hair done at home rather than at the salon but I'm kind of scared for mum because like even though it's her natural hair colour, it's just going to be such a crazy transformation. Update, mum just told me that she's changed her mind basically because the chocolatey brown from earlier would basically when mum washes her hair it will end up turning into red and it will just fade out. So since mum's hair is like already an ash sort of colour she decided on like an in between of these two the hairdresser said that these will probably last better in her hair. So this is pretty similar it's like the same sort of like dark brunette it's just got a bit of a different undertone I feel. Mum's transformation is now beginning so this is the last time we're ever gonna see mum with blonde hair. Well, I don't know if it's going to be forever, but for a long time. Are you ready? I'm actually really excited. Yeah? Yeah. I'm actually quite nervous actually for you. I just bit my nipple. Oh no. <laughs> my breast bleeding at the moment as well. going to do is when we got back home I was going to use this brown henna in my hair but the lady just told me not to do that because if you get henna then you can't ever dye your hair again obviously until it like grows out so they're actually been telling me about these toners that I could use and these would last about two months but obviously they'd fade as time goes on so I could have sort of that color or this color which is a little bit ready or like this one which I think this one isn't really brown so I'm thinking like that one might look quite nice or that one I'm not sure I'm kind of like I think this one would suit me more because it's just like a my hair color with a bit of like brown added to it whereas this one is like nothing like my original hair so I'm thinking this one is quite a nice brown mum has currently got her brown dye in and it's looking amazing already I think she looks really nice because a minute ago she had like completely red because that was like the first step of it and it looks really cool I think it should be a really nice surprise because it's looking really cool but now it's my turn and I'm not gonna lie I'm very nervous we've decided on the color so the lady said that I should go for this color and then if I find that it's too light, then she said that I can always go a bit darker. But we're just going to see because I feel like it will look on this. It doesn't look that dark, but I feel like when my whole head is that color, and just like the comparison to my natural hair color, it's going to look really dark. Are you ready to see mummy's and big, big sister's hair transformation? Are you ready, Mia? Yes. Come on. Oh my goodness! Wow! It's so different. I like. I really love it, but it's just wow. so different. You love it, don't you? I was originally gonna go even darker than this, but the lady said that if I do that, it will just probably end up ruining my hair, and I'll never be able to get it back to blonde unless I like get highlights again, and that'll really damage my hair. Wow! Can we go? But I'm kind of glad I didn't go any darker wow. because if not, like, I just feel like if I went wow. any darker, it just you look so cool. Yeah. You've gone really dark blonde, haven't you? Yeah, it's Which like, is like a really a dark blonde, almost like mousy brown. Yeah, it's lovely. It's got like red undertones in it. Yeah. It looks beautiful. But she did say that will probably last a couple of months, didn't she? But yeah, it will this fade. will last a couple of months, but it will fade. And I'm probably going to be using some like silver shampoos and stuff like that to make it more blonde. Why would wow. you want to go more blonde? It looks nice as it is brown though. I do like it. I just feel like I kind of prefer my blonde hair. Oh, I think it looks amazing. I like, guess. I do really, really love this. I don't know which one I prefer. Okay, shall we reveal mine now? <laughs> yes. If you thought my reveal was shocking, wait until you see mum. She literally looks like a new person. It's crazy. <laughs> it looks so good, but it looks like I'm wearing a wig. So I went for chocolate. And um, yeah, it's really glossy and like wig-like at the moment. So when it like when I wash it a few times, I reckon that will fade and maybe not seem as like bold. But I do really love it. I think it actually like makes me look yeah. glossier. It like hides the mum tired face I've got going on at the moment. Oh. Someone else has got a tired face going on. Oh. Right. What do you think of it? So Darren doesn't know what colour hair I was going for or what it was going to look like. I haven't given him any updates. 
And then also, Sienna doesn't even know that we were gonna go to the hair salon <laughs> today, so it was gonna be a complete surprise for her. They're in the mall somewhere, so we're now gonna go meet them and reveal our hair color and yeah, get the reactions. Right, they're now walking towards the shop because Darren knows that we're gonna meet them, but Sienna currently doesn't. So I can't wait to see their reactions. Honestly, oh, cannot wait. I really hope they don't see us because we're currently standing in front of like a big open space where you can see yeah. all the floors. Darren said he's gonna give us. me a call when he's outside the shop because obviously we don't want to like walk up to them and meet them because we want to like yeah. literally. We want to get it. We want to capture it. Sinner's, right, Sinner's either going to be like, he cares, or she's going to go mental. She's going to go mental. I know it. Oh my god. I already know it. She, like, Sorry, I keep hair. looking at the food. I know. I feel like I'm a new person. I'm like, yeah. I'm new Georgie. I'm the new. <laughs> the new. Oh, did they? What about mine? I want some new hair. Funny story though is that Karma. When um, the lady first put like that red like pigment on, Karma looked at me and cried, didn't she, Mia? Yeah, she did. She's worried. She's worried. Yeah. She didn't know it was me. Anyway, right. Dan's gonna give me a call at any minute, and then we can go and sneak up on them. I said we were meeting some new people here, didn't I? <laughs> oh, 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 oh my Do you like God. it? <laughs> She's like, what are their names? Because I said, oh yeah, we're meeting some people who are moving into the fourth bedroom. So like, what are their names? But Mia and Georgie and Karma. And she's like, yeah, I think I'm going to recognise them. I was like, I don't think you will. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, I you look so different. You, but... Do you like it? <laughs> look at Mia. You don't look much different. Thing. Looks nice, I love yeah. your whatever colour hair. Oh, thank yeah. you. Karma, what do you think of it? Oh, yeah, does she even know it's you? <laughs> yeah, I got my nipple out of Fedor in the hair salon, so that confirmed that I was definitely me. Can you remember before when. Oh, sheet mask. Oh, yeah, when guys, when Georgie had a uh, face mask on before, Karma was too freaked out to feed from her, yeah. wasn't she? Yeah. Like, she wouldn't do it. That was hilarious. Do you like it then? Do you like Mama's a brunette? Can you remember Mama's a brunette? No? I she am did, actually naturally she did have brown. brown hair. I've gone for chocolate though. I thought it'd be nice, nice and glossy. Yeah, looks really healthy. Yeah, I know. Good. I feel like I'm a bit more healthy. I think it's very they, dark though, isn't it? Yeah, the lady said it would fade a little bit. Is your natural washes. colour even that dark? Yeah, not as rich and dark. Right, yeah. But it will fade a little bit, and then she said it'll look a little bit more softer. Yeah. But I think I look. I wanted to go back green hair, so I looked a bit more healthy. I thought I felt like the blonde was washing me out. I love Mia's. It's like a really nice dark blonde, but Mia's is going to fade out. A toner, but mine is actually permanent. Right. So you've got a new wife. Yes. <laughs> and you've got a new mum. <laughs> Have you two been waiting for ages? No, we just got here. Yeah? We just got here, yeah. Do you want to go and get some burgers? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah shall we? It's really weird, but kind of nice. I remember when we did the video where you showed all pictures and you had the hairs like that, and then suddenly, out of nowhere, now you're back to that. Yeah. Basically, we've had a really nice evening out. So we went for a burger, and now it's like 10 p.m. and we're all feeling really tired. And I think Mia's just having a nervous breakdown about the What's hair. What's happened to my hair? Like, I like it. It's just so like my hair isn't even that big of a transformation in comparison to yours. But I feel like I oh my goodness, so I don't even recognise myself. I think she's myself. just hot. It's been really hot outside. <laughs> you're just overtired, aren't you? Need some sleep. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you wake up in the morning, you look in the mirror, and you'll be like, oh my god, what have I done? That's what I did in the so, toilet tonight. That's not very in true. the morning, you wake up and it'll be a lot worse. Now, at the end of the day, it's not that big deal. We've just changed no, the hair colour. No. And yours is a toner. I think it's yeah. me that's going to have to, like, if there are any regrets, I'm going to have them. Yeah. But so far, I'm loving it, guys. I'm really grateful that we even got to do this today. We had a really fun, girly day. It's really good fun. Also, guys, if you want to check out any more of our, like, transformation videos, because we like transforming and experimenting on ourselves, check these ones out here. And we'll see you in our next video, guys. Love you. Bye.